Hello everybody. In this video I will show you um, yeah, a bit of experiments with my high voltage impulse generator. And yeah, for this I have here my three bifiler coils stacked on top of each other. And yeah, one the middle one gets pulsed with a MOSFET at its resonant frequency of the coil. And the outer two coils are connected in series and they basically amplify the generated voltage even more. And yeah, what I get and what you see on the oscilloscope is if I stop the signal, very high voltage spikes. And this is picked up from my probe that is not connected anywhere and it's just laying here. And of course, if I get with my probe closer to the system, you will see spark, uh, the spikes will be even higher. And also, what I've done here is I've connected this metal sphere that is coated in epoxy resin, so it's coated with plastic everywhere on the outside, so I don't touch any metal directly. And I've connected this to the high voltage output of my generator. And yeah, if you want to know how this works, I have made other videos where I explain this more in detail. And yeah, if I take this ball and just take it in my hand like this, you can see the signal on the oscilloscope is changing compared to if I let it lay down here. And this is because my body picks up the signal or the high voltage impulses and yeah, acts as a kind of a big antenna or extension. And so the probe will pick up the signal even more. And to show you this, I, if I hold it with my left hand, my whole body gets charged. And if I come closer to the probe, with my hand, you can see the signal will yeah, go way beyond what the oscilloscope can even show. So, yeah, we basically create with low input DC voltage and almost zero power consumption, very high voltage spikes. And yeah, also what I noticed is when I hold this ball just in my hand, my whole body gets charged with yeah, this high voltage. And because this is coated in epoxy and the surface of the ball is quite big compared to if I touch one lead directly like this. So at this voltage I don't really feel it, but I still grounded. If I go higher in my voltage, if I touch the high voltage lead, I can feel it slightly. It's like getting stung by a needle. And this doesn't happen with a coated metal ball. I don't know how to describe it best, but I, it, I think it gives, it gives it off um, yeah, more evenly. And so if I hold it, you can see on the oscilloscope clearly that yeah, I myself am charged with high voltage. And yeah, it kind of feels, I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, not bad. <laughs> it, it's like energizing. It's like, I don't know, if you drink a coffee and you feel energized and motivated to do something, and this is kind of a similar feeling. It's not something really strong and apparent that you feel. I mean, if I rise the voltage even higher, don't mind what the, what my power supply shows here. This, if, if I touch it and ground it, it will show random numbers because it's also affected. But if I just lay it down here, I'm powering it with, yeah, let's use 24 volts. You can see we have almost zero current draw 
So we are using less than one watt of power to create extremely high voltage spikes. So we have very high voltage and very low current. And if I hold it like this, yeah, I, I think it, I, I could describe uh, this is an, an energizing feeling, but yeah, I don't know what uses could be made of this because yeah, maybe one could make a healing device out of such a setup or improved version of this. So this is just to show you this and now for another quick test. I connect, I disconnected the sphere, so it's not connected anymore, and instead I connect a neon bulb, as I've shown you in earlier videos before. But what I didn't show you yet is if I increase the voltage on my input, of course the output also will increase, and as you can see here, if the voltage is high enough, the neon bulb itself will light up with just one leg connected and the other one is completely stuck in, in the air. So basically, I don't know how exactly it does it, but the air becomes the conductor for closing the circuit because it's, li it's lighting up obviously. And it doesn't depend on the distance from the from the coil or where I go. And yeah, you basically you can transmit electricity with just one wire. Works as well. But obviously as you could see the voltage has to be high enough for that to work. And let me adjust the voltage down a bit. If I touch any metal surface, like you can see, like the housing of, of my power supply, it will act as a ground and it will light up even brighter, of course. Or, of course, the same with my hand, if I touch it like this. So, yeah, you can also take just a normal standard LED light it up like this and yeah I think this is very interesting this high voltage and low current electricity as you could call it and yeah all also called scalar technology someone knows it by this name or also called cold electricity and I think this could have a lot of interesting use cases so I suggest if you're interested in this stuff build your own device I have tutorials on how to make them and see for yourself what you can do with this so thanks for watching and goodbye